Back to our breaking news this hour. The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled to temporarily lift a lower court's ban on the abortion pill Mifepristone, while a lawsuit over its use continues. The drug is used in more than half of all U.S. abortions, and this decision will preserve access to it, at least for the time being. We're now joined by Sam Law from Washington, D.C. He is the Senior Director for Advocacy Communications at Planned Parenthood Federation of America. Sam, thank you for taking the time to talk to us tonight. Thank you for having me. So what is your reaction to this ruling? We're relieved. Um, we're very relieved. You know, we never should have been here in the first place. Um, this case should have been thrown out from the beginning. But, you know, we are relieved that access to Mifepristone um, is safe and will remain on the market, as you said, uh, for now, for the foreseeable future. You know, we were, the court said it would get back um, on this day by midnight tonight. You know, we have people going to Planned Parenthood health centers first thing tomorrow to, to take Mifepristone, to get Mifepristone. And so it really was putting providers and patients in an untenable position. This back and forth has caused chaos and confusion. Um, a lot of misinformation for patients, which quite frankly was the point of the anti-abortion movement. Um, but tonight is, is good news, uh, but the fight remains. And tell me about that. Tell me about how this fight remains, that this is really just for now. I mean, there's a whole pro a court, court process that, that's going through, right? Yeah, so we know that this case will go back to the Fifth Circuit um, and will very likely get back to the Supreme Court as well. You know, but unfortunately, this is just one of many attacks that we are seeing in America against abortion access, against sexual and reproductive health care. We are seeing many more lawsuits uh, that are attacking access to sexual and reproductive health care. We are seeing states pass um, more extreme and extreme bans and, and different ways to control people's lives. Um, and you know our anti-abortion opponents are really using every tool in their toolbox to try to take away our health care access, to try to take away our freedom and our rights. And so, you know, we at Planned Parenthood Action Fund and our partners across the country need to be just as vigilant in fighting back and making sure that we are taking every step we can to expand access to essential reproductive health care. But don't you feel as though you're in many ways losing that battle? I mean, there is, a, a, I guess, a, a somewhat of a victory tonight. I mean, without a doubt, the Supreme Court's decision uh, last year to end the federal right to abortion has been devastating and has led to um, a loss of access for one in three women and more people who can become pregnant in this country. The devastation they have wrought um, is undeniable. But what we know is that a majority of Americans, a strong majority of Americans, 85 percent want abortion to be legal. We are fighting back. We have won pretty much at every ballot box where abortion has been on the ballot. And this fight will absolutely continue on. It, we're not gonna gain access back overnight. It's going to take years. But I think it's very clear the American people are on our side. They are furious with the courts and with politicians who are trying to interfere in their health care decisions. Well, why is, if 85% of Americans want abortion to stay legal, why does it seem as though often we hear of states that are either banning or severely restricting access? You know, that's a really great question. And I don't think there's one simple answer there. I think we have unfortunately have a little bit of a tyranny of minority happening in many of our states, in many of our legislatures, where seats have been gerrymandered so much that those that are getting elected to higher office um, are not representative of the people that they are supposed to be representing. Not to mention that we have had um, so many voter restrictions enacted across the country. You know, we need a lot of democracy reform in this country. We need court reform. Um, but, you know, what I think is clear is that the American people have had it with politicians, with judges trying to interfere in their personal health care decisions. Sam, again, appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Sam Law, Senior Director for Advocacy Communications at Planned Parenthood Federation of America.